Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'd like a room, please. Of course, sir. Is this your first time in Tunisia? No. But it's been a while. Your name? I'm actually a preferred guest. It should be under Dean Moriarty. Certainly, Mr. Moriarty. May I help you with anything else? Yes. Today's date is... October 24th, sir. 2005. Yes, sir. 2005. Hi. Hi, my name is Nancy. I'm here to take Mr. Wilson home. Oh, oh. He is the one who 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 is the <laughs> okay, um, but there's still a service fee to pay. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What happened next? Then the other one grabbed me and pushed his uh, penis into my mouth, right into my throat. I tried to push him off, but he grabbed me. He kept laughing and calling me names. What did you do when he grabbed you and pushed you? I closed my eyes and prayed that I would die. I stopped fighting. <laughs> it went on and on until I wasn't feeling anything anymore. Did either one of them ejaculate on or inside of you? I don't know. When did this happen? Two days ago. So, about 17 years ago, right? Julia was raped. And I don't mean the guy was skipped out without paying, I mean raped. And while trying to bury all memory of this, she finds out she's pregnant, right? Now, most people would just call up Dr. Morton Toller and ask for the Sunday special. But not Julia. I mean, after all, she's a child of God. So, despite the fact that she was single, despite the fact that she was broke, look, despite the fact that a kid was the last thing in the world Julia wanted, right, she went ahead and gave birth to a permanent reminder of the worst day of her life.